rights. What's your rights? I'm on rights now. Right on. Right. Yeah, you right, man. I'm going to get on right. Let me handle right in a big way because I'm going to handle right in a big way <laughs> right now. First of all, right, there was a time in the concept of this language, that uh, languageal garbage that we speak in here called English, where they would, um, they got a word for it, discriminate against a person who, who, who used their left hand, who was left-handed. Sometimes call them devil or something, evil, all kind of shit. So they come up with right. That's their, you know, that's their historical experience. Some people's historical experience is not such. And so we say correct. We don't necessarily say right. The right is over here. The left is over here. You know. When I ask people sometimes, I say, what's the opposite of right? And they say, oh, everybody know that. The opposite of right is wrong. No. I'm, you know, my children at three years old knew the opposite of right is left. That's the opposite of right. We're talking about right. Oh, uh, now, let's get into what they call your rights. You got human rights. You got civil rights. But they got human rights, civil rights. Hold on. Rights, civil rights, human rights. The best right is freedom rights. Never heard of that right. Ah, they got y'all looking at, that's what I say about mentalism. They got y'all looking at mentalism, mentalism, in that 50, 60 years. They got y'all looking at civil rights and human rights. Another 50, 60 years of enslavement. <laughs> even more, maybe even more. Ooh, once you're a slave, man, and you get used to that, mental enslavement shit you can hang out there the rest of your life and your children to teach your children that bullshit and they'll do it too it is beautiful man slavery as they have it now as we have it it's so beautiful i mean we're working it like nine to five <laughs> the thing goes like this we are enslaving ourselves through our behavior slavery is a matter of one's behavior and race and dare. Do you have a constitution? Do you personally have a constitution? You know, one written out your thing. Yeah, man. Think about it. Consider yourself a country. You must have a constitution. Everybody have a con. They used to call it a constitutional. After dinner, when you walk around, take a stroll around the uh, the mezzanine or whatever. After after dinner, you're supposed to walk around. It's called a constitutional. Look this stuff up. I be saying, man, don't just take what I be saying and run with it. Look it up because once you look it up, you'll know something. If you just take what I'm saying, that's information. Look it up and know something. If you're just here for information, you're on the wrong channel, man. I don't do it. I don't. I don't do information. It's too plentiful. You can find information everywhere. If you want something about knowledge and what's really happening and what we are, then you're on the right station. This is it. <laughs> okay. So, freedom rights. Freedom rights fall in Rome under what they call natural rights. So now we are in a Roman situation, right? We are in romantic. This is a romantic mm, uh, situation. This uh, American law and jurisprudence and society and everything is based on Rome. I hope y'all know that. And 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 in such, yeah, they're gonna have a lot of homosexual. Rome was built by faggots. I mean, excuse me, homosexuals. Not faggots, homosexuals. An elite group. For the first 10 years of Roman, 
look at this shit. Uh, man, for the first 10 years of Roman existence, they had no population growth. No population growth for the first 10 years. Zero. Births. Zero births happened in Rome for the first 10 years. But they were all homosexuals. They went up north and raped some people. Uh, why am I getting into this? Because I came up with Rome. I'm just telling you that's their flow. Their experiences and what they've done creates what they call their culture. So, you got the civil rights. Civil rights is just a matter of, you know, if somebody, when, excuse me, when somebody kills your child, you could sue them in court. Isn't that beautiful? Civil rights. Human rights is about the same thing. Oh, he violated my human rights. Okay, what are you going to do about that? Well, I'm going to sue him in court. What else can you do? <laughs> See, it goes, it's the Roman way. There's also a Roman way, it's called natural rights. And I've been studying, like I said, every time somebody started talking some garbage, and I'd be like, that's garbage, like the mentalism garbage. And I had to go read all them books and stuff to see what they were talking about. And then once I read all that stuff, I realized they're being duped through translations. They're not translating that stuff themselves. Otherwise, across the top of the doggone dome does not say, know thyself. It says, realize. Not know. They don't understand nothing past their own cultural experience. Hmm? They think the Wright brothers came up with the first airplane. They, that's because that's their cultural experience. They don't know the air, uh, uh, flying machines. We've been flying around this place for thousands of years. Hmm. You know what I mean. Check it out. So the rights that we're talking about are natural rights. Look it up. Study it, natural rights, every being, not every human being. They catch you got caught up in human rights with that. Every human being, I'm not that. Please, uh, see another 50, 70 years of this human, <coughs> human rights. We've been, you know, been through that since King. They started that human rights garbage. Uh, Martin Luther. And then, uh, uh, all them boys are talking about human rights, civil rights, even indigenous rights leans toward uh, uh, civil. Uh, Aboriginal rights lean toward natural, because we are the original, ab I mean, we are the original people. <laughs> Whatever you want to talk about, they are human. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. And like you say, oh, well, that's old. That's an old car. And I, you know, I, I have old things. So I know some of them are used up and done. Some are not. But uh, the idea goes like this: We need to focus on natural rights. And nat there's actually a thing called natural law. In Roman, I'm not talking about uh, the, the law of opposites and the law of frequency. I'm not talking about that law when I'm talking about natural law right now. I'm talking about natural law. I'm talking about what the Roman, the same Roman garbage, man. You switch up. Say natural law, you're talking about, oh, something over there with the frequencies and garbage that ain't roman like hey, i'm talking civil that's why i started at civil civil law everybody knows roman stuff baby human human rights and all that stuff is a follow-up off of roman law everybody know that baby now i'm talking natural law also roman bullshit 
follow up on that, baby. I'm not talking about no laws of nature, laws of this and that. I'm talking about no laws of the same Roman people, man. They know about us. Natural law said, speaks to the, the rights and the laws of beings. B E I N G. All beings, not human beings. Well, why you got to do all that anyway? That's a lot of noise just to say, man. It's mm. a lot of words. Why all them sounds? You, man, man. Oh, that must mean something. I suggest you look it up, see what it means. I, I mean, I'm going to get into that right now. I'm doing these rites. Natural rights. Study Roman mm -mm, law. Natural law is mixed in with, uh, it follows international law. Internet Roman law, all this shit was set up by Rome all the way, baby. Roman law. International law, I mean, yeah, Roman international, well, it's Roman, international law is what it's called now. They call it law of nations. Big deal. We are a nation, law of nations. We get to join that, that, on that level of action. The next thing is natural law, which is the deeper law of reality. And the one that we did, I'm not talking, I'm, again, I have to say, I'm not talking about a law about no up and down, everything, whatever that crap they be talking about. Her, Hermes, Hermes, Tresmic, just Hermes throws me off. I ain't dealing with no Hermes. That, 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 that's some Greek god. They want to deal with that as their perception of reality. I have a different perception of reality, perceived through my receptors and my avatar here. I see it differently. You know, some people are colorblind. You be thinking everybody see the colors you see. I'm just saying. There's a good amount of people, millions, actually, of people who exist. Maybe not millions. Uh, yeah, I think it's about millions of people who exist who are actually colorblind. They can't see black and white. Done that. Just that simple. I'm done. See, see everybody ain't the same. Quit tripping, everybody. <laughs> oh, man. I don't like to get long-winded because I'm talking to you about the rights, and I want you to follow up on the rights that I'm talking, the concept of natural rights under natural law. <laughs>